Hello there, folks. In this video, we are going to talk about how can the Agile coach support product owners in teams and in the whole organization. So let's get started. Well, the first thing that comes to mind is that you teach them. Now, it's easy to think about that when it's a very beginner product owner, they're just fresh into the role. But the reality is that along the way, not necessarily everybody, um, you know, start in a good way. So you might pick up on things that you see, hmm, I think those fundamental concepts are not very well structured in the practice and in the mind of uh, my fellow product owner. So you teach them no matter the stage they are in the career. Now you do so in a non-threatening way and in a collaborative way. You don't come in and you teach life to your PO, but you do help them by teaching so what do we teach the product owner about? We teach them about one, agile mindset and agile fundamentals. How do you plan in agile and you plan quite often and you don't get so attached to the plan itself and more so to the outcomes. And speaking of the outcomes, how do you start structuring work in a way that is less requirement based and it's more, uh, outcome and result and here's what I'm going to see in the end, leaving the details to be filled in the blank. How do you structure work in smaller batches so that you can have a, a feedback quicker? So all of these things. And obviously, as you can think, product owner is a role that exists in the scrum framework. So you teach scrum, you're talking about the ceremonies, you're talking about the, um, the, the specific elements of the framework, including the values without which Scrum can become quite mechanical and not really work as expected. And you also teach techniques and tactics. Yes, because there's a lot of things that might be new to your product owner, how to write a user story, how to do a story mapping. They seem quite simple and they actually are. But they are not that simple if you have been working very differently. If your product owner is someone who is used to maybe was a business analyst and was writing requirements, they are going to struggle a little bit because they want something to be super complete. And that's really not the point in working in agile. Uh, if they were maybe a project manager, they might be super attached to very specific dates and telling people what to do. So you really help them with the techniques that will be very different than the reality that they used to have. So some of the techniques that they have in their tool set will no longer work and they will need to acquire a new one. So there you are ready to teach them. Then you mentor them. I started saying a little bit kind of like in the teaching piece, but you mentor them in their role transition because that's usually what happens. Uh, I'm yet to see people who are very, very fresh out of school and become a product owner. It's more so someone who was project manager before or maybe a business analyst, but then yeah, also product managers, which is not the same thing, right? Product manager is someone who really gets a lot more attached to the strategy of things. Uh, so they all come with very different ways of thinking, mindset, in ways of doing and working. And there's a huge element in product ownership in Scrum that the PO works with the team. So even though the PO represents in front faces the product to the customer, the PO is not the sole decision maker for whatever happens within the product. Instead, they collaborate, they bring in what are the priorities, what is the vision and the team brings in, hey, here's what is really possible considering the time, considering the technology and the knowledge that we have inside the team. So product owners really are the folks who need to negotiate and be very good at prioritization and uh, figuring out ways of making value come out of the product and out of anything that the team is working on. So that everything that is created has value for someone somewhere in the chain, in the organization, all the way up to the customer. And there is an element of coaching as well. So you definitely will be helping your product owner to figure out who they are in their own leadership space. No matter the role, no matter the title, the job position in an organization, whoever works in Agile needs to start feeling comfortable with the uncomfortable, needs to start feeling comfortable with the unknown and uncertainty, 
and a lot of change. And that's hard for some people. It doesn't necessarily come naturally. And I would also say that the element of understanding where your leadership is at is very, very important in many roles in agile, but especially in this one, the product owner, they negotiate, they don't decide completely alone. So there's a lot of aspects of influential lateral leadership more so than authoritative. And, you know, I know what to do. I decide what to do and you execute. So for some people that might also be a huge mindset shift in coaching them through that journey of becoming this new type of leader is also something that you can support your product owner with as well. I cover a little bit more on the blog post link down below, but for the purpose of this video, I'll stop here. I hope this was useful and that you understand how you as an agile coach can unlock the superpowers of your product owners. And let me know in the comments here or in the comments on the blog, wherever you prefer. And I'll see you on the next video. I'll stop for now. Bye.